A University of Alberta virologist is getting the ultimate recognition for a medical discovery made over 30 years ago. Dr. Michael Houghton has won the Nobel Prize in Medicine, along with two other researchers. They discovered the hepatitis C virus, and their work went on to save millions of lives. Heather Urich's West on the latest Nobel laureate with a Canadian connection. 30 years ago, Stephen Sheridan was sure hepatitis C would kill him. The virus made him so ill, he eventually required a liver transplant. I suffered with it for almost 14 years before I got my transplant. And then uh, to be cured, uh, that was beyond my wildest dreams. Today, Sheridan and millions of others around the world like him are living healthy lives free of the blood disease, thanks to the work this University of Alberta researcher began in 1982. An important lesson that I've learned is if you want to solve major problems, you've really got to be persistent. It took Dr. Michael Houghton and his colleagues nearly a decade to fix a problem that first came to light in the early 80s, when patients who had received tainted blood transfusions began to fall ill with a form of hepatitis unlike anything doctors had ever seen. Everyone in Canada should be so grateful to Michael because he is the person who discovered the virus that caused the tainted blood scandal that hit Canada very hard. Not only did Houghton's work lead to tests that could ensure the safety of Canada's blood supply, it also eventually led to the development of a drug, a cure for what had previously been a deadly disease. Before uh, people were getting infected, there, were no, there was no treatment and they were developing a variety of liver disease uh, and then um, some of those required liver transplantation. About 5% would develop liver cancer. Of course, the work for Houghton and his team is not done. He's now working on a vaccine for hepatitis C while turning his attention to the COVID-19 fight as well. Hep C kills around 400,000 people every year. So far this year, COVID's killed around a million people. Um, so these virus viruses are really a permanent threat and we need diagnostics, we need antivirals and we need vaccines. And though it may be some time before this novel coronavirus is finally tamed, Stephen Sheridan is living proof of what can be done. Heather Urex West, Global News, Calgary.